Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and I will be showing you my Final Fantasy Record Keeper High Score Challenge run. Um, I was able to break that 60 million necessary to get the Warrior of Light. So it took a long time and it took a lot of tries, but I was finally able to get it. Um, the thing that is going to separate my run from other runs is that I did hit the 49%, but I did it using two Record Keeper medals and then an HD uh, two HD Aqua EXs. So let me go ahead and show you the setup real quick. So this was the setup I used. Um, as you can see, no Record Keeper Terra in here, so you can imagine how much of a hard time I had with the counters, because that was one of the main problems with this high score challenge. Uh, but before I get anyone hope anyone's hopes up, you know, saying like, I totally have that setup, I can totally do it, I gotta show you the traits, because that's honestly the only reason I was able to do this is because the Master Xehanort EX has extra attack, it has strength plus 1000, it has aerial enemy defense down minus 60%, the Alara also had ground and aerial enemy defense minus 60%, the HD Vanitas had extra attack, and as you can see, like, pretty much everything falls on the right slots. So to say that I can just, you know, tell this to people, like, this is gonna be a solid high score challenge setup that you can use is not true, just because it's very likely that not a lot of people have these traits to back it up. Uh, but even with the traits, you know, there's even more that went into this high score challenge to help me break that 60 million. So I'll try and show you guys a run of what I did. Um, I can't really say it's gonna definitely hit that 60 million because the Alara, as you can see, has uh, attack boost 4 and not attack boost 4 max. It's because I don't think I'm gonna be using her super frequently outside of this high score challenge. I might, so I just wanted to test it with an attack boost 4. I just had an extra one lying around. Um, so I will be testing attack boost 4 on the Alara, but for purposes of this high score challenge, because it's not a max skill, it might actually impair our final score. So let me go ahead and show you what I did. Uh, so for the most part, I let the auto battle do all the work because I have the Mog beefing up the HD Vanitas, which is copying the Kyrie EX. Um, the HD Vanitas is in its proper slot, giving it a 2.5 multiplier and making it just super strong. It serves as pretty much my L method metal. Um, now I know there's been some talk and I definitely want someone to confirm this for me. But I hear that with the L method, whichever metal did the most amount of damage or whichever metal scored you the most amount of points is the one that sticks till the very end. Meaning that even if I used the HD Vanitas and had to proceed to use other metals, it's not the kill metal, it's not the uh, metal that defeated the enemy that gets the bonus points, it's the one that did the highest amount of bonus points score. Which in this case is going to be HD Vanitas because he's going to be hitting for a very, very high damage for just one hit, instead of breaking it up into multiple hits. So as you can see, the HD Vanitas with the attack boost 5 max Lux Plus and being on the proper slot copying Kyrie EX is just doing a lot of work. And then having that beefed up with a 15% from the Dr. Mog definitely makes it more possible to hit those high numbers and get better bonus scores. So that's pretty much been the entire way I get through this high score challenge. Like I pretty much just HD Vanitas just almost wrecks everything minus a few things here and there which require more damage. But I mean when you look at the rest of the Keyblade setup dealing extra damage isn't too much of a problem. Um, except with the gear golem at the end. That thing has a crazy amount of health. I feel like it has a crazy amount of defense, and it also has a hit counter, not a uh, metal counter. So pretty much every hit brings that number down. Um, and I actually use that to my advantage, but I'll show you guys what I did there when we get there. So uh, again, as you can see, Dr. Mog just beefing up the HD Vanitas, HD Vanitas copying Kyrie EX and pretty much obliterating anything in its path. So these are even level 800 enemies. Let's see how they fare against the HD Vanitas. Nope, see? That one that one's just barely hanging on. Like, HD Vanitas is really, really putting in a lot of work here. And it was also necessary to match the slots for the medals because they did increase the overall strength of the Keyblade, which in turn increases the strength of the medals on there. So with a low attack points, you're doing less damage than you could be doing 
Uh, so it was important that they're all in the proper slots. Otherwise, HC Vanitas wouldn't be hitting for as much. Uh, the Kyrie EX wouldn't be hitting for as much. So even though they're just the buffers, it was important for those two medals to be on their specific slots, which again is another reason why I can't really say that I recommend this particular setup to anyone just because it was super, super, super hard to do without the uh, Record Keeper Terra. So if you have Record Keeper Terra, by all means, like just go for it. Like it, it would make this so much easier because that Terra, if it's guilted, is just crazy. That thing is a single target snipe. All right, so we're finally on the uh, Pokemon Infernape part list. So we're just going to use the same method we always did. Uh, pretty much the main difference between this enemy and the other enemies is that I have to keep using rotations for my Keyblade. So I think I do two full rotations until I'm able to knock it out. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much how I got through every single enemy that wasn't the last enemy. The last enemy, I had to do some really tricky stuff for it. Um, which again, dependent on that Alara's attack boost 4, may or may not show you how I hit the 60 million. I'm only hoping to record this once because I do have kind of a busy night still lined up ahead of me. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how far we can go until we crash and burn. <laughs> yeah, it's a very specific technique that I had to use in order to, um, in order to take out that gear golem at the end. So let's go ahead and let these metals do their work. Just keep punching for damage. The HC Vanitas Kyrie EX combo is going to get me pretty much to the max amount of buffs that aren't upright or reverse buffs. And then I can count on the uh, HC Vanitas to take me up to those max reverse buffs. And then... Yeah, we pretty much just watch. Oh, also the Alara isn't max guilted. That's another thing. So I could have had her max guilted and that definitely would have helped with consistency. Uh, but I really didn't want to use the magic mirrors on her. I still am contemplating if I'm going to use her to see if it's worthwhile. So let me go ahead and turn off the auto battle. So that's really important here. So we go into our last boss with 51 million and then some change there. So what we're going to do is because it has a specific counter of 30, we are going to plan out our hits so that by the end of the second rotation, so after I've used HP Recovery 1, the pet skill, we are going to get that 30 down to 0. Now I'll explain why that's so important when we get there. So I did this, just tap in with the Mog because it would mess up my math if I just use the special attack of Mog. So it's actually more important for me to do it all separately um, and to only auto battle through my buffs. So we're going to use the Kyrie here. We are going to use the HD Aqua. And we are only going to tap with the Alara because again, that five hits is going to really screw up things. We are going to use the Master Xehanort EX twice and that's going to bring our reverse buffs up to plus four. And then it is going to start our next rotation with the defense down buffs and the magic attack up and then the magic defense on the enemy down. So we start off with those buffs on our next rotation. So here it is. We're going to knock this thing out or not knock it out, but we're going to damage it with Aqua EX. All right, there we go. And then we're going to get hit and it's going to knock us out. We have our pet use HP recovery one. And then once again, we skip over the Mog because that 5 hit counter is going to really throw things off. Um, then we're going to use our HD Vanitas Kyrie EX combo to get those counters up and also to give ourselves some buffs. So there it is. We are doing more damage, doing more damage. We are going to use the HD Aqua EX here because that's going to boost us up to that extra 30% guilt. Now, what needs to happen here is that this Alara needs to hit this attack boost for otherwise this isn't gonna work so we get the attack boost for which is really cool all right so that's good we are going to use one of the master xehanort ex and that's going to bring us down to four hits so we're going to tap with this one and then we are going to use the hc aqua which has three hits so it's going to bring that down to zero so i was able to use all my metals and bring it down to zero, which is ideal because if you make the hit counter go down to zero before you get through your full rotation, you're missing out on damage. So I had to do the math perfectly and time it out so that this HC Aqua EX brings it down to zero. 
Now, this is a trick that some people use in order to get through certain challenges. Um, when you bring an enemy counter down to zero, and it is the last metal, I don't know if it has to be the last metal, I need to do some testing, um, but when you bring the enemy counter down to zero before its turn starts, you get knocked out. If second chance brings you back, you keep the buffs that you went through that second rotation with. So as you can see, I've still got that plus six upright strength and that plus six reverse strength, which is really important because I needed to squeeze out every piece of damage that I could. Now that I don't have to worry about counters anymore because this is my last turn, it has 30 hits on it, which is significantly less, well not significantly less, but it's less than the amount that all these medals together are going to do. So I'm just going to hit auto battle and let the game do the work for me, making sure I tap that Nova pretty much right before the end. So I need the Alara to activate here too, otherwise it's not going to break the 60 million and I'm just gonna get wrecked <laughs> if the Alara doesn't activate I pretty much just take the L here and get destroyed so we'll see if it activates if it does then we are in the green awesome it activates and we keep going so the Masters A and X is gonna do some damage here it also has aerial on it which is gonna clock out some extra damage and then here I'm gonna tap the Nova make sure that that goes off because I don't want to take any chances so the Nova goes off, and then the HC Aqua EX comes in for the final. So I had to use every single metal. Every single metal was important to the success of this. So as you can see, there's there's the uh, 60 million. Again, no FFRK Terra, and only one HD EX Terra Aqua Ventus of my own with the Record Keeper medals filling out the rest. So there it is. That's how I did it. Um, I believe a swipe here is fine, and then I could knock it out with the HD Vanitas. So that was my run, um, and then as you can see, I broke the 60 million there. Um, no, again, no FFRK Terra, meaning it is possible, but you have to have some crazy thought out setup going for you like I did there. Like, there was an extra attack involved. There was the buff resetting trick thing that I did at the end there. There was a lot of math involved with the hits at the end. There was the Alara that has Ariel on it, the Master Xehanort that has Ariel on it, and extra attack, and then the Vanitas with extra attack. I had to use Kyrie EX. So it's like that's already like eight things that um, might not line up with some people. So when you have to have that many condition specific things up, you know, you can't really say it's advice because it's just such a specific amount of stuff that you have to have. Um, but that's how I did it. That's how I was able to break that 60 million without using an FFRK tear of my own and only having one of the Birth by Sleep trios. So let me go ahead and show you. That's the final setup I used. Again, if you want to check out the traits, which were super important to this run, go ahead, flip to the beginning of the video where I showed that. Um, but if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to throw them in the comments below, and I will try my best to answer them. Um, as you can see, that was that was like a crazy run. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think I'd be able to break that 60 million knowing that I needed that 49% which is super important because you can't do it at 42%. I've seen some people get close uh, using like specific L methods, uh, but I've never seen anyone break it. So if anyone saw anything on Reddit or has a party member, let me know because they totally deserve a shout out for the amount of work they did. Um, and yeah, that was my run. So as always, everyone, until the next video, take it easy.